Oh no. What will Boone say? Um, well, we are certainly working on another game. Unfortunately, right now we're, we're not at liberty to, to talk about it, but we are very <sighs> intensely working on it. We're very excited about it. And when I'm sure when it comes time to announce it, you guys will be involved in that process. <laughs> the wait continues. Hey, what's up? Your boy, Dynasty, back at it again with some more of Mortal Kombat in your life. Yeah, that was a recent interview that Boone did with the good guys over at IGN.com, where, uh, working on something? Can't say. Which, again, not a shocker. Wasn't a reveal event. It was a IGN interview. It is what it is. However, Ed Boone has still been giving back a lot lately, including the other day, because this year being the 30th anniversary of Mortal Kombat, back in October of last year, Ed Boone started sharing some behind-the-scenes footage of the original Mortal Kombat mocap session, giving us some details, insight that we had never heard or had before. And just the other day, Ed Boone was back at it again, like in October, sharing some more 30th anniversary Mortal Kombat hype, giving us a full breakdown on how they came up with the actual stances of Scorpion and Sub-Zero in the original Mortal Kombat 1. So today, breaking down this threat, because I think it's super interesting stuff and you've probably never heard of this before or seen this before, because again, pretty sure it's the first time Boone has ever revealed this stuff to the general public, so kind of cool. Now, here it is right here. Continuing our celebration of Mortal Kombat's 30th anniversary, here's another video showing more behind the scenes moments. This time you can see how we decide to give Scorpion and Sub-Zero different fight stances, so they would look and feel like two separate characters. That's gotta be the coolest thing you've probably seen this afternoon, right? Uh, I hope so. Now, Boone went on to say, as the most recognizable Mortal Kombat characters, the origin of palette swap ninjas came from both a fantastic story rivalry and a technical solution we needed to fit the game in the limited amount of space and memory we had. One reason why we made them ninjas was to get two fighters out of the same motion shoot and memory footprint, but we did have some unique frames made exclusively for one ninja. For example, we felt giving them different stances was worth the seven extra frames of animation it cost us. Since we thought of the idea during the shoots, the next step was to come up with a unique fighting stance for each ninja. They had to be different to stand apart, but still work with all the attacks, punches and kicks the two ninjas shared. Remember, this was very early in the project. The ninjas didn't even have names yet. I laugh hearing myself refer to Sub-Zero as the cold guy. How generic. John Tobias also briefly explained how we're gonna take the yellow palette and have another ninja. One thing worth pointing out is how spontaneous our decision had to be. 
Based on what we were seeing in that moment, John suggesting that Scorpion spin his fist, me suggesting Sub-Zero tuck his hand to his chest and sway back and forth, all based on what we were seeing. And some ideas just didn't work. Notice how many different stances we tried with Sub-Zero before narrowing down his final pose. And honestly, some of those stances were really bad. Like they had him doing the, but like this was out here. I don't know, that would have looked like, that would have looked really funny. Like John Cena, John Cena Sub-Zero almost happened before John Cena existed. Ed Boone, you missed out. You can't see me, says the Lin Kuei to the she Rai Rai, you dogs. You'd be surprised of how much cutting room floor stuff never made it into the final game. That might make for a good future video. Aqua confirmed! Also notice how the final stances are on the left and right sides of the screen. During the shoot, they didn't exist yet, so it's fun to see how we kept improvising and narrowing things down until we reached those iconic poses you know today. And honestly, it was pretty cool to see how, on the fly, based on what they were seeing in their actual eyesight, they were like, uh, can you do that? Can you do that? And legit, the actor's just like, slowly conditioning himself to listen to these commands, and it worked out. And it just, it's only a matter of minutes and it's just like that, boom, iconic. 30 years later, memorable, forever. Just off of a random motion capture shoot and an idea, it worked out. Hope to share more of these fly on the wall videos to give you all a closer peek into what it was actually like making the first Mortal Kombat game 30 years ago. Random trivia question, anyone recognize the movie theme? I'm whistling, I think someone said it was Indiana Jones and Boone was like, correct. So Boone, confirmed fan of Indiana Jones back in the 90s. But yes, I thought this was super cool. Again, probably the coolest thing you've seen all day. I know for me, when I saw this yesterday, I was like, damn, I wanna share this with the people. So here we are. I'm just glad to see that they're excited to talk about the 30th anniversary of Mortal Kombat. I'm hoping that's dubbed into something more than just a Twitter thread. I know we have an arcade one-up machine with Wi-Fi that is probably going to be like $700 to $1,000, and that's like part of the whole 30th anniversary Mortal Kombat celebration, but I hope we get more than really just some Twitter threads and an overpriced arcade one-up. There are some rumors and supposed leaks of a Mortal Kombat HD remaster of Mortal Kombat 1, 2, and 3, but honestly, at this point, I'm not getting my hopes up because I feel like I've been hearing that over the past decade and every time there's progress made, it gets canceled. So will today be any different this year? Uh, I don't know. It is the 30th anniversary, but uh, WB is still WB. So regardless if we get anything fun or not for the 30th anniversary of Mortal Kombat, I'm just glad that Ed Boon is sharing these nice snippets of details and information because honestly, without Ed Boon being around doing this, will we ever have heard about this story? Would John Tobias have shared this? Regardless of how you feel about the current situation of what game comes next? Is it MK versus DC? Is it Injustice 3? Is it Mortal Kombat 12? Are we going to get an HD remaster collection for this 30th anniversary? Regardless of what happens, I'm just glad to know that Ed Boon is still giving back to us, the fans, like this because he doesn't have to share this with us. And it's just so cool to see that, again, it's the closest to us being a fly on the wall to understanding how exactly the Mortal Kombat that I and you have come to love came to fruition. And I love this stuff so much. It makes me wonder if there's like a secret vault underneath like Netherrealm Studios and it's, I don't know, something out of you, just like a box. And it's just got like a whole collection of classic VHS tapes just like dusty and maybe it's in Ed Boon's house. He has like a, a library and it's just dedicated to some VHS tapes with a lot of dust that say like MK1 mocap, MK2 mocap, MK3 mocap. Maybe that's where all this footage comes from but regardless I'm glad it's seeing the light of day because if we don't get anything at least we're getting some amazing threads from Ed Boon. So Boon, you're the man. Shout out to you and Tobias and the OG Midway team who made Mortal Kombat what it is today. I do hope we get something this year for the 30th anniversary, but if we don't, you guys are still awesome. Hashtag, why did NRS do this? But yes, that is all I got for y'all today. What do you guys think of this Twitter thread made by the man himself, the myth, the legend, the master troll, Ed Boone? Love you guys so much. Thank you all for coming back and watching this video. If you want to see the full IGN interview from the beginning of this video, I have it linked down below. Ed Boone talks about the early days of Mortal Kombat, early days of him making pinball machines. It's a really interesting interview, so check that out if you want. Again, this thread will also be linked down below if you want to see it yourself. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, take a second to drop a like on this video, of course. Subscribe for some more MK content like this on the channel. I'm so sorry if you're just tired of seeing my face on a green screen all week long, but uh, hope you're uh, you're liking it. I hope you like the Mortal Kombat New Era playthroughs too. I've been killing it lately with the uploads, I think, so. Love you guys. Thanks for watching and making this a great week. Hope you guys are enjoying your weekend, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.